Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course teaching you everything you need to know about this program. If you enjoyed today's lesson, be sure to check out the link in the description for the full Masterclass course. Alright guys, so moving on to another amazing method and uh, this method right here is actually going to be how to go about fixing shaky video clips. Wow, this one's a big one, believe me. If I had somebody to uh, to tell me about this effect right here when I just got started editing, I assure you my uh, you know extremely amateur first pieces that I created would not have looked so bad. And uh, it did take me a while to actually learn about this effect here and it, it's probably one of the most basic effects within the whole program. but it does such an amazing job at stabilizing footage. For example, let me play you this clip right here, which is just a clip that I handheld captured of me coming down out of my office window to reveal my office desk and, you know, my laptop on the floor and my uh, couch over here to the side when you can see it. But this is a really shaky clip. Um, I'm just going to play this a couple times over just so you can actually start gathering how much of a shaky clip it is. It's a handheld clip and overall uh, this, you know, would not make it into any any, any professional video edit it because of the, the fact it's so shaky. It looks super amateur and overall I'm going to show you an extremely easy and um, honestly I'm not even emphasizing at all when I say this is an extremely easy way to stabilize. In fact, it's so easy it's literally just drag and drop and uh, the only kind of time consuming bit is the fact that if you're not just doing it to a clip that's only a few seconds, for example if you were trying to do it to a minute long clip, it's going to take a long time to actually add this effect to your um, to your particular clip. But enough of teasing you, let's go ahead and, and uh, actually navigate to the effects down here or you guys could actually go up to here up top. Either way, let's go to our effects tab and let's actually go ahead and type in to the search warp stabilize and if you actually start typing that in it will pop up with this guy under the storts and it is a warp stabilizer okay and what this is actually going to do is when we drag and drop this to our clip it is going to process through the whole clip in fact let me drag this right now and let's just let go on our clip just like that and if we actually let go on our clip right it is going to take a little while to process through as i told you guys it is um it's kind of one of these type of a uh, very high processor very high cpu um heavy stuff because it really is changing the whole motion of this clip right here you saw how shaky it was you saw how amateur it was looking and as you see here it is slowly working its way up and that's all you have to do is drag it and drop it onto the clip and it will actually work out all those little bumps and uh, and kind of steps and grooves and it will kind of ease those out to create almost like a crane-like uh, smoothness throughout your clip and honestly it is quite amazing and it's a complete game changer or at least a hundred percent was a game changer for me for example I do a lot of live event videography there's oftentimes an intro shot where we have to be walking through the club up to the stage that's a pretty shaky shot and it can be if we don't bring stabilizers and it's hard to bring those stabilizers to the club so oftentimes warp stabilize is a huge time-saving method method for us and um, just like that, if I give this a play right now, you see it is crazy. Look how much smoother that is right there. I could even duplicate this clip, throw it at the end, and just go ahead and remove Warp Stabilize from this second clip here. And actually just go ahead and put an out point at the end and go ahead and just render that in and out. So we can have a watch of the smooth version, then a watch of the... Uh, you know, original version, which was not smooth by any stretch of that word. <laughs> and let's go ahead and give a watch to it right now, guys. So that is the corrected clip right there. Really smooth, very, very nice, almost like a crane hand. And this is quite clearly a handheld shot. Uh, you can you can kind of feel the movement of me stepping backwards and reversing. However, this shot, this stabilized one, honestly looks amazing, and it's easily chiseled out all those kind of weird steps and movements and overall that amateur style that that second clip has and this first one right here that we've stabilized is looking much more professional and uh, and and just just like it was actually done on a stabilizer instead of just being hand held so that is a brief walkthrough and um 
an insight into one of the most useful tools, at least personally for me, and I really hope this is uh, useful to whatever particular video production you're doing, I don't see how it can't be because stabilizing is a universally used method of actually um, just wanting to stabilize your clips and overall create much nicer looking footage to actually show off throughout your edits or, you know, whatever type of video you may be creating. So here is a amazing way to get rid of shakiness from your videos and overall stabilize and smooth out everything using the warp stabilizer effect. Boom, there you have it guys. That is another lesson done out of the Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course that is 100% free on my channel. Uh, there's a complete playlist literally working through everything from the most possible basic things available in Adobe Premiere Pro, like, you know what I mean, creating a new project, uh, you know, all the way to the most advanced stuff available to you in the entire program. We're literally breaking through the entire thing. If you haven't already gone over and checked out that playlist, then by all means, if you've made it to this point in the video, I would 100% urge you to. Seriously, this is an extremely useful playlist. By all means, uh, you know, even if you know the, the very basics, uh, you know what I mean? You can go here and just, uh, you know, pick and choose which lessons to actually partake in. It's not all extreme basic stuff. It, it uh, is sequential. So at the very bottom of the playlist, it is the most basic stuff and it's essentially working its way up to the most advanced stuff available in the entire um, uh program Adobe Premiere Pro CC and um, you know what I mean essentially we're just consistently adding videos to this playlist working our way up to the most advanced stuff obviously I've already created the entire course it's over seven plus hours it is also available on Udemy um, and uh, basically I'm just uh, taking my turn uh, taking my time to upload this content here keep on putting it into this playlist and then uh, once I've actually built up kind of like a, a, a let's say 50 plus uh, videos, all basically little mini lessons breaking down this entire program. Then I'm going to start pushing a lot of promotional content uh, on my actual, you know what I mean, you, you, uh, YouTube channel, just kind of pushing and directing you guys um, to this particular playlist and basically just trying to direct as many people as I can to this playlist because, uh, you know what I mean, I, I originally created this project as part of some commission work for a, uh, a really big Udemy um, instructor who was actually looking to branch off into to creating content about you know subjects he didn't actually know about, uh, etc. So I was hired to create this whole project. We worked on this entire thing together for him to actually sell on Udemy, but for me to actually just give away to you guys. Obviously, I could have sold this thing if I wanted to. I decided I didn't want to actually, uh, you know, try actually just get like a you know five dollars a pop for it, ten dollars a pop for it, whatever. Uh, you know what I mean? Whatever price I set it as. Instead, I thought there was much more value just in actually giving. The whole thing away, seeing as I'd already, you know what I mean, had some sort of monetary gain from it by the fact that I was actually hired to create this um, kind of big intricate project and kind of create the whole lesson plan, everything for this really big creator over on Udemy who literally has hundreds of thousands of students uh, that he's taught various different topics to across the years. Obviously, like I said, he brought me on as I was kind of like uh, someone who had knowledge in an area that he did not. We created the whole seven plus hour course. By all means, go to the playlist and check it out. It is the full Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course. If you guys know even loads about Adobe Premiere Pro, go click on the course. You will see a couple videos that you maybe didn't realize. I literally spent fucking hours combining all of my knowledge, uh, you know what I mean, into uh, of Adobe Premiere Pro, all the tips, tricks, and hacks I've picked up throughout using this in my day-to-day -day profession for the past years, uh, you know what I mean? So there's a huge amount of knowledge that I compiled into this thing. Overall, very helpful to anybody who likes Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm now going to leave the trailer that actually went on to uh, Udemy, the actual trailer that you can kind of watch before buying the course over on Udemy for the big instructors page just so you guys can get a little bit more enticed. If you're even still watching at this point, by all means, I'm sure a bunch of you are. Uh, enjoy the trailer, but the trailer is basically going to tell you everything I, I just told you now. Go over, check out the playlist in the description, the complete Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course 
of 2018. Here we go. Really hope you guys enjoy and find it helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm Jack. Have a nice day, guys, and take it easy. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jack, and welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course. I'm a freelance video editor slash videographer as well as YouTuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production, and I'm going to be your tutor for this particular course and we're going to be walking through everything together from the most basic to the most advanced of video editing tactics available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. We are going to start off with the introduction section where we get all the basics out the way and by the end of even this first section, you will have edited together your first basic sequence. And the list of things that I can guarantee you will know how to do by the end of this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course ranges from such a huge amount of stuff, including a full understanding of all the tools and shortcuts available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro, a complete understanding of animated titles, how to create basic ones all the way to advanced ones, how to create custom transitions, where we actually have hands-on activities to do this together, creating those custom transitions, as well as, of course, utilizing those basic default video and audio transitions. You will also have an understanding of the difference between color correction and color grading and also how to utilize both of these video editing and overall color improvement tactics in Adobe Premiere Pro. You will also have complete hands-on understanding of keyframe animation, whether that be using keyframes to lower the decibels of soundtracks, all the way to using keyframes to animate clip dimensions and of course animating text as previously mentioned. You will then have a complete understanding of exporting, whether that be general exporting, exporting for specific platforms using presets or even exporting in the maximum possible render quality available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. You will then have a complete and intricate understanding of video speed and the speed manipulation tactics available to you in this program, whether that be using your simple reverses, your simple speed changes, or even the super advanced speed ramps and speed ramp transitions, which I am going to extensively get into in the video speed section of this course. We are then going to, in section 9, do all the ins and outs of advanced video effects, whether that be simply the VFX section all the way to all of the most user-friendly and time-saving methods. I have personally had to learn the hard way, but I've compiled all of these kind of cheat sheets into that advanced effects section to be saving you guys so much time throughout your creative process in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're then going to uh, actually complete an outro of the course to summarize everything you have learned and you will know how to do, as well as including a master project, which is kind of going to be an unfiltered, kind of raw, hands-on experience and overall uh, letting you guys get an insight into what my actual real life live almost unedited raw video editing and creative process is going to look like in terms of creating a project for a client that I would actually be creating normally. Without further ado guys, there is so much in store for this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. I can't wait to jump into it and with that being said, let's do it.